Hello, hello, hello. Problem 170. This time, largely a math problem. The reason why I have this problem is that problem 169 had to do with pure role and many of you have difficulties with the concept of pure role. This is a disk, solid disk, radius R and mass M. This is the horizontal surface. I call this the X direction and this the Y direction. And this disk rotating in this direction, it's going in this direction, is in pure roll condition, no slip. Of course there is friction here with this horizontal surface, but there is no slip here. That means the friction will never do any work and so there will be no heat produced. Is this artificial? Not at all. Your bicycle wheels are probably always very closely in pure roll condition. If not, there would be slip here with the road and your tires <laughs> would wear very quickly and there would always be heat produced then where the tires hit the road. And the same is true for cars. The wheels of cars are almost always in pure roll condition. Surely there is friction with the road, of course. But if there is no slip between the car wheels and the road, then there is no loss in kinetic energy due to the frictional force. No heat produced at your tires. If you slam on the brakes, you better believe it. There will be no longer pure roll. There will be slip here and there will be heat produced there and your tires will wear. Okay. So, accept the fact that yes, there is friction here, but since the wheel, in this case the disc, is in pure roll condition, there is no work done here by the frictional force, because there is no slip. Take this point P. This point P has position X and has here position Y. And I want to follow with you the speed of that point P in the X direction and the speed, velocity of that object in the Y direction. So I call the velocity in the X direction of this point Vx in this direction and I called it Vy in that direction. Okay, are you ready now? I want you to make a plot of the velocity in the X direction and the velocity in the Y direction of point P. And I want you to do that as a function of phi. And when that's done, I want you to tell me what V of X of point P is and V of Y when phi is 180 degrees. So that means that point P is here, where P is then touching the floor. We will make omega constant here to make the mass simple, but I want you to appreciate that if you drive your car 
And if you increase the speed of your car, then you can do that always in pure roll condition. In other words, your wheels never have to slip on the surface. That can happen. <laughs> and that's not very good for your tires, by the way. They will burn up very quickly. But you can increase and decrease your speed and still maintain in pure roll condition. And the same is true for your bicycles. So this is a very practical problem. And the reason for this problem is, I want you to understand what the velocity of that point P is when it reaches this point, both in X direction and in Y direction. Uh, it is really a math problem. And uh, would I have been able to do this in, in high school? Yeah. I think there is very little doubt about that. When you roll down an object, down an incline, and in several of my lectures I do that very often, then the object can roll down the incline, always stay in pure roll conditions, never slip. Of course, if the angle of the incline became too large, then you can no longer do that. But that's a separate story. It would be a different physics problem. Find a plank at home or a cutting board. Tilt it at a certain angle and let a tennis ball roll down. Of course. It will go faster and faster. Omega will increase with time. But if the angle of incline is not too steep, it will always stay in pure roll. That means it will never slip. Give that some thought. Pure roll is around you <laughs> almost every day. And if you drive your car, and if you're a wild driver, and you slam on the, on the gas pedal, then you would hear the, the wheels spin on the road. If the road is slippery, like in the winter, and you would slam on the gas pedal, you can hear the wheels spin on the road, and the car may not even drive at all. That is certainly not pure roll. And then, of course, the frictional force will do work on your wheels, and then we don't have pure roll conditions. And the tires will burn. <laughs> you may not like that.